Well, we've left the flightless and Maria from Pure Salt has brought us over on the tender to Mamaku, Indian Island. And we're in this fascinating little harbour called Waka Harbour. This is where Māori used to pull up and shelter their waka before going onto the island. And interestingly, this is the place where Captain Cook met Māori here in Fiordland. Now, Rusty has got our Akonga crew just up there and he's going to talk all about predator trapping and the trap line that they've got here to ensure we've got abundance of native bird species and insects and all that sort of thing. Let's go and catch up with them. Come on. And we're doing this to look after the flora and fauna to look after all these birds, give them a chance in life. These species were introduced by us. It's quite good trapping here on Mamaku because on Stewart Island we don't have um, mice or ferrets or stoats, so the traps are quite different. I have noticed, so I've learnt how to set different traps. The problem with predators is, is that they're killing our native birds. We're helping out with the predator-free Rakiura 2050. And I think that's um, a very good learning opportunity for lots of the younger kids to, so they can understand how to protect our island from all the pests that we have. I've never done trapping before, but seeing how it's all done, I've got my kit here, all the things that I need to trap. I've seen that it can be quite beneficial, traps are working, and that's, that's a really great sign because it means rats are being caught, but it's also bad because rats are still on this island. This is a chew card, and so like the tracking tunnels you've been using, these chew cards allow you to work out if there's any predators around, and by bringing them in, luring them in with this kind of tasty lure that's down the side. And what we do is we leave it out and, and then the predators come around and they chew it and leave unique tooth marks or bite marks on the card so then when we collect these in tomorrow we can work out um, what's been here and what's been chewing the card. And the cool things about this is that you can do it in your backyard at home and you can just put them, you can actually make these yourselves out of like real estate signs or any other core flute. Put some peanut butter down the side, fold them in half and nail them to a fence post or to a tree and then the animals walk past, bite this and you can work out what you've got. There are also ways to see what they're dealing with and count the numbers like the tracking tunnel. It's a little piece of ink with some peanut butter on them. The rat comes in and they walk on the ink and they can read these footprints and they can tell how many rats have been around in the area. Also, there are cameras, so they'll have a big pile, of, big pile of food, like corn, and a camera over here, so they come and have an eat, and the camera will catch them. So we've got a dozen of these cameras around. They're out there to see what's, see what's happening in the environment. We're picking up predators, seeing what native wildlife we've got, running to kiwi, it's pretty Pretty cool to see them. Seeing what they do has been really, really important for me because now I feel that if anyone needs help trapping, like in my community, that I'd be able to go and help them. <laughs> 